Okay, go ahead and join me on page 155 in your big math book. Um, let's start on chapter 4, lesson 4. Um, I think you're going to like today's lesson. It's similar to uh, one of the multiplication lessons that we did that you guys seem to really like. So I think um, this one will make a lot of sense to you. Okay, remember throughout the video, focus, can-do attitude, take initiative, and listen carefully. Okay, if I make any marks, I expect you to make them in your book as well, so follow along with me. It says, Dustin is packing apples in gift boxes. Each gift box holds four apples. So that's important. And then, of course, our question, how many boxes can Dustin pack with 120 apples? So now we're dealing with a much larger number um, than we been dealing with except when we were doing our estimation. But the nice thing is we can divide using basic math facts and place value. So learning uh, based on what we've learned about place value and our basic math facts, we're able to change this uh, large number multiplication problem into a basic fact. So you see here we have to divide 120 by 4, but really we can see that this 12 at the front is a very compatible number with 4 because if I count by my 4s, 4, 8, 12, my multiples of 4, I land right on 12. So I could think of this as the basic math fact of 12 divided by 4, or 4 times what is 12. And then we can use place value, step 2. 120 is the same thing as 12 tens. So now I'm dividing 12 tens by 4, and I get 3 tens. 4, 12 divided by 4 is 3, but again, it's 3 tens, so we have to add our 0 just like before. So you probably remember uh, before when we were doing a multiplication problem, and it was, um, you know, like 60 times 4 or something like that, we realized, hey, we can just do 6 times 4 and then add our 0. It's the same kind of idea here, except now we take the 0 off, then we divide it, so 12 divided by 4, and then we add our 0 back onto our answer for 30. And remember, you can always check your answer by doing the opposite. I can do 30 times 4, and there's my 3 times 4 basic math fact, that's 12. I add my 0, 120, it gets me back to my original dividend, okay? So Dustin can pack how many boxes? Let me find my pin. Oh, where'd it go? I can't see it now. I think it's highlighted for you guys, but it's not highlighted for me. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> so 30 is our answer. And the question was, how many boxes can Dustin pack with 120 apples? He can pack 30 boxes. And each one of those 30 boxes is going to have four apples, which gives us that 120 apples. Okay. Now, example two, we're basically doing the same thing, except this time, Look, now there's two zeros, but we can do the same thing. It's still identifying the first two numbers, 1 and 2. That's a 12 divided by 4, and now it's instead of 12 tens, it's 12 hundreds. So 12 hundreds divided by 4 is going to be 300 still, just like it was up here, This, but it was 3 tens. Now it's 3 hundreds, so we write our answer as 300. Oh, that's really ugly. Let me get my actual pin in here. I was trying to use my mouse on that one. Okay, where'd you go, pin? Oh, there, you're way up there. Okay, so 300. And you can see that answer here. So those two zeros that we originally took off to make it 12 divided by 4, we just added them back on to our answer after we got our answer by doing the basic math fact of 12 divided by 4. Okay, so probably like this math lesson, um, and I'll see you on the next page. Thank you.